Saberite Anonymous here uh, with another episode of The Weapons Locker. But today we're going to be talking about something a little different. We'll be talking about gloves. Um, specifically, the Koenig gloves from St. Mark's. Uh, these are HEMA gloves, which are uh, designed for longsword. Um, really by Axel Peterson um, and uh, one of his colleagues. Um, and I finally got a pair. They're kind of hard to come by. They're getting a little bit easier now. <coughs> So I got these um, from Purple Heart Armory. If you uh, don't know who they are, go ahead and check them out. <clears throat> we have been uh, kind of experimenting with all kinds of different types of gloves for a very long time. Um, these, quite frankly, right now, I gotta say, are probably some of the best that I've that I've tried um, for obvious reasons. I mean, obviously, they look really, really nice. Um, they have really, really good protection. Um, especially for a fingered glove. Now, um, obviously they're, they're, there's a couple of drawbacks here, um, especially when they're new, they're very, very stiff, um, and these are still very new. I got them just the other day, so um, still haven't really broken them in yet. I'm going to try some of the uh, various uh, tricks on the internet that, the, that you see out there. Uh, Matt Easton has uh, given a couple. Um, but anyway, uh, my initial impressions of it are uh, very positive. Lots of mobility, um, lots of protection, um, and for lightsaber, quite frankly, probably more than you need, but still very, very good to have. Um, the construction is, obviously the outside is a, is a kind of conventional looking glove. I'm not sure what this strap is here for. I guess it's supposed to cover the gap or, or what have you. Um, but anyway, uh, so you've got this very nice, tough, almost shoe leather on top. You've got a nice kind of soft, grippy leather on the palm, which is very, very nice. Um, inside, uh, lots of padding. I don't know if you can see. There's good padding in there um, and all that. Now. The protection comes from a bunch of plates which are inside the glove, sewed in there. Here in the thumb, the thumb has great protection, uh, better than lacrosse gloves, of course, um, or even the Red Dragon gloves. Um, the, uh, the plate in the back of the hand, in all of the fingers and everything like this. And the fingers do have a bit of a cap in them, so you actually have pretty good fingertip protection. Now you still get you're still going to get snapped every now and then when uh, when, when you're sparring, and there's not a whole lot you can do about the fingertip, especially against your own saber. Um, but uh, these, um, as you can see, um, definitely uh, hold up to direct strikes to the hands and all of that. Um, they are a little bit expensive. Uh, they're about three hundred dollars with shipping and all of that. So. Um, not exactly the least expensive piece of gear. Uh, I'm going to use them for uh, a little bit longer here um, and uh, see how they break in and I will come back and uh, tell you how they did.
Okay, so um, about a week later, uh, I wanted to bring an update and, uh, of how the gloves are doing um, after they've been broken in. Um, a couple of other things feature uh, of, of the features. Um, some people have talked about how wide the cuff is. The cuff is pretty large, but I put these guys on to kind of show you how the size of the cuff actually is pretty good. Um, when you have forearm protectors on there, it still allows you a lot of movement um, with your wrists, and it doesn't really bind you up that much. So um, while if you don't have these, you just have a game set on, um, I could definitely see how that might, uh, the, the, the cuff might be a little too big. Um, they're softening up pretty well. Um, still takes a little effort right at the end to uh, squeeze your hands. Um, I've been finding it easier to use these with sabers because sabers tend to have a larger diameter in their handle and uh, so you don't have to grip quite as small in there. Um, they are definitely best, better for longsword and two-handed stuff um, than one-handed. <clears throat> uh, there's really no mobility issues, it's just the ability to kind of feel and move that if you have both hands on your weapon the gloves tend to work a little bit better in tandem than when you have one and you're there and um, because of the way the pads are I have a hard time bringing my pinky down onto the weapon so a lot of times it'll stick up like that um, I haven't gotten snapped yet, but um, it does kind of make me a little bit nervous. Um, not a game breaker, not a deal breaker though at all. Um, I show this here, full on things here. Now granted, I'm not holding on to anything and I'm hitting myself, so it's not really, but I am, I'm, I'm doing it fairly hard and with, with a lot of, at the areas that are usually very vulnerable. Fingertips. That's the nice thing. Fingertips are pretty well protected. Um, like I said, you will get snapped every now and then because you will have your finger up against the saber. But the soles, or the, I should say, the palms of these of these gloves are much more padded than, say, a lacrosse glove. So you get a little bit of extra there. Um, all right, well, so uh, that's about it. I highly recommend these gloves. Like I said, they're not cheap. Um, they are expensive, but I think for protection, um, it's often good to spend a little bit more as long as you know you're getting a quality product. Uh, this product is definitely high quality. Um, it's beautiful looking, it feels wonderful. Um, it was like fresh leather, gotta love it. So um, so yeah, you can get them at Purple Heart Armory, as I said before. Um, you can also get them from St. Mark's if you're in Europe. Um, they'll be at uh, various HEMA shops or anything like that. Just look for wherever HEMA gloves and stuff like that are sold. Um, ask around on the forums if, you, if you're having trouble. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, so these are a good glove. Um, definitely the best one on the market until the Pro Gauntlet comes out. Um, so I'm quite enjoying these quite a lot. Uh, so there you go. St. Mark's Coding Gloves. Go check them out. So until next time, have a great day. Happy Sabre.